Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Uh, no, it's not Quran 30 for 30. No, it is not even my typical office or setup. Uh, we're doing something new, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So uh, I want to welcome everyone to the prelude to a podcast that, inshallah ta'ala, Sheikh Ammar, Ash-Shukri, and myself are going to be uh, launching, bidnillahi ta'ala. And before I even get started talking about, inshallah, what this podcast is going to be, uh, for which we're going to need uh, your help naming it, inshallah. Uh, my name, of course, is Omar Suleiman uh, from Yaqeen Institute for Islamic Research, but also, alhamdulillah, uh, a part of multiple efforts, one of them, Al Maghrib Institute. And with me is my beloved brother, uh, someone I've, I've known for a very long time, worked together forever, alhamdulillah. Sheikh Ammar Shukri, you may know him for his poetry, you may know him for his uh, Sudani nationalism, you may know him for uh, being the director of Al Maghrib USA, an imam at Clear Lake Islamic Center, uh, a sabiq, a forerunner on TikTok, on Instagram, all over the place. MashaAllah. My man, Sheikh Ammar, how's it going? Hala, hala, Sheikh. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa rahmatullahi wa Alhamdulillah. So, from my, my manaqib is like, Instagram and TikTok. That's, that's <laughs> these are great virtues. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, no good to good to be with you again virtually, if not physically. And I'm looking forward to this podcast. Inshallah, I'm excited about it. Likewise. And Zakhlah for for um, doing this, man. Um, you know, Subhanallah, we've done a lot of things together with Al Maghrib uh, in particular, right? Uh, yep. You always you, you ghost me for Quran thirty for thirty, but we're not going to let you go next time. Inshallah, you'll be on Quran thirty for thirty next time. Inshallah. But, you know, it was really interesting. Um, one of the podcasts or one of the webinars that we did uh, was like the art of letting go. And I think that it till now, people will come up to me and say, you know, that was one of the best discussions I ever saw. And it was a discussion that you and I did. And alhamdulillah, we've, we've always had great chemistry in person, yeah. online. So inshallah, I'm looking forward to uh, launching this pod- podcast with you. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. And, I'm, and you know, this topic... Um, I'm going to let you talk about the topic, inshallah ta'ala, but um, I'm happy to, you know, to someone who I've I've watched grow yourself, you know, coming from Louisiana, felt like it was out of nowhere, you know, not from one of the big cities, not from Chicago or, or New York or Toronto or anywhere like that, from, from, from New Orleans, Louisiana, mashallah, and, and how you were able to just come on the, on the scene and, and really be able to, 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 benefit from those before you I, I i've loved watching you grow and ask allah to accept and bless you and protect you and i'm glad that we're going to be able to on this platform have discussions that i think are going to be discussions that are going to be candid hopefully and oh. we're going to be able to really you know even get to know hopefully sheikh umar in a way that we've never got to know him before inshallah ta'ala, as well as a lot of beautiful guests that we'll be having along the way so for the for the benefit of the guests, uh, Sheikh Ammar and I have known each other uh, for probably closer to maybe 15 years now. I remember, uh, I think our first meeting was at Ikna way back in the day, man. You were doing spoken word. And it wasn't your typical. Uh, uh, that's before you got into nasheeds and stuff like that and started singing. You know. uh, that's not me. I've never started singing. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry it's not because of lack of you know what i mean i feel like if allah had given me a singing voice it would have been a rap i would have <laughs> <laughs> and i got to come to your wedding that's that's a that's a cool thing too i mean that's something that i appreciate i appreciate you coming right, to my right. wedding alhamdulillah right. how many years you've been married now a, a good amount alhamdulillah oh man you don't know how many years. <laughs> you're not gonna get me brother you're not gonna get me <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! He doesn't know his anniversary. We're gonna have to get this part out probably. Uh, but we'll take a community poll uh, to see how many years you've been married for. Uh, what people think. I'd like about a quick check. No, but I mean less than you. Le- so le- just- definitely less than you. I'm sure you know your 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 date. You have it inscribed. Oh yeah. But, man. Uh, if it you know was allowed to get a tattoo, it would have been, you know. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. No, I'm just messing around, man. But um, you know, so. Obviously, just to, to start off, right, and this we're going to keep this very short, inshallah ta'ala, because this is not meant to be the first full episode. Uh, we're going to have a proper, inshallah ta'ala, episode, but just uh, roughly. So, alhamdulillah, we've got this uh, channel 
there are multiple um, streams, inshallah, you know, for reflections, personal stories, Q&A. But uh, this podcast, we want to make very specific, inshallah. Let's call it for now just the Da'wa podcast. Um, and I want to introduce it from my perspective, actually, with something that occurred to me. I, I was speaking in Philly um, a few months ago. And, you know, the, the topic was something around along the lines of what have we learned? right? What have we learned? And uh, for those of us who were old enough, you know, to remember 9-11, where we were, uh, what we were doing, how we were sort of coming into the Dean, for me, that's when I when I actually, you know, 9-11 happened uh, very soon after I really got into the Dean. You know, I just actually had started studying um, prior to 9-11. Um, I actually wasn't even in the country uh, when 9-11 happened. Um, but uh, the, the talk was supposed to be about, you know, sort of revisiting the Muslim community and where we've come after 9-11. And one thing that occurred to me is when you look at the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? The seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after the Bi'tha, after receiving revelation, is basically 23 years. The first couple of years of which was very much so private, which we which means that 21 years really of the things that we read about from the persecution in Mecca to the migration to Abyssinia, then the second Hijrah to Abyssinia, the boycott of the Prophet Sallallahu the Hijrah to Al-Madinah, the internal problems in Al-Madinah, the drawing up the charters within Al-Madinah, the uh, battles of Badr and Uhud and al and uh, all of these different things that happened to the Fath uh, itself, to the conquest of Mecca and what happened after that. All of that spans 21 years, subhanAllah, which is exactly where we are right now. We're 21 years post 9-11, right? Which means, what have we learned, right? You look at the seerah of the Prophet wasallam, and you see all these twists and turns that happen in those two decades. But the culmination of which was, was beautiful. Of course, the whole life of the Prophet wasallam, is beautiful, but the challenges are, are very real challenges. You know, you talk about ta'if and haditha to ifk, right? Like some really significant challenges, the, uh, the, 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 the rejection of ta'if, the slander of our mother Aisha, anha. there's just so much that happens, right? So what have we learned in 21 years in regards to our da'wah? We've had many twists and turns that have happened. And I think that sometimes when you're moving very quickly, you don't take a moment to pause and reflect. And this podcast is basically a chance for us to look over these 21 years, uh, learn from the mistakes of 21 years, obviously, and sort of analyze more thoughtfully what's happening around us in the present, and then connect, you know, hindsight to foresight, what happened in the past to what the trajectory is right now for the community, specifically as it relates to da'wah. So we want to benefit from the da'wah of those that came before us. Um, you mentioned growth, Sheikh Hamar. We want to bring some of our elders on, inshallah ta'ala, that were already pioneers in the da'wah prior to 9-11 and, and witnessed that shift and were a part of it. And we want to, inshallah ta'ala, help those that are involved right now and those that want to be involved in the future. So essentially what we're going to be doing, inshallah ta'ala, is revisiting the last 21 years and the shifts that have happened in the last 21 years in the da'wah and be forward thinking, inshallah, ta'ala. be very thoughtful, um, listen to experts, people that can talk about the evolution of education in the community, the da'wah scene, the local imam scene, the effects of social media, the securitizing of the Muslim community and what that led to, identity politics and what that led to in terms of the da'wah, all sorts of questions that can help us, inshallah, ta'ala, really put something forth that is thorough, that is, ref that, that is introspective. And that allows us to move forward in a very healthy way, inshallah. The disconnect between the U.S. and the U.K., we've just been, uh, you and I have just been throwing topics together into a doc, right? So, yep. inshallah, I will have a lot of, a lot of different topics to discuss with the night, Ada. But that's what I see this as, inshallah. And that's why I think this podcast is going to be really important, inshallah, for, for us. First and foremost, I think I'm looking forward to benefiting, inshallah, Ada, from, from you and from the guests. We're going to have at least one guest every uh, episode, inshallah. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be bin the night ta'ala, something that we can look back on hopefully years later, inshallah, and say, remember, we had this discussion about this and that. And hopefully we were able to take some of the benefit from this podcast, inshallah ta'ala, and 
uh, help, uh, you know, guide ourselves and, and the community towards what is better in regards to the da'wah, in regards to this blessed mission of the Prophet ﷺ that we hope uh, to be a part of. So Sheikh Ahmad, what do you think? What's your What's your? I think I think you said everything. Why is it so important? (laughs) I think you said everything. Mashallah. The the, the, very much I co-sign everything that you said. There's maybe two other factors that come to mind. Uh, Maybe three. The first is inspiration. That it's not just to learn about the mistakes of those who came before, undoubtedly, but also to be inspired. And you know that's part of why the stories of the prophets is revealed. Allah says, We reveal to you the stories of the prophets that you might have your your tithbit, you might have your heart uh, anchored, that you might feel that type of firmness. Um, but, you know, coming across some of these, some of these in, uh, people that we're going to interview, inshallah, or have discussions with, you're going to hear incredibly inspiring stories. And, whether you are a young da'ya or whether you're someone who has uh, basically been burnt out or wherever you are in your world of da'wah, inshallah ta'ala, you're going to feel, inshallah ta'ala, you're going to, you're going to come across that which is very inspirational, inshallah. Also, I, I would love to, through this podcast, just get a bird's eye view. I mean, at the end of the day, I work in the world that I work in day and night, which is Islamic education through Al-Maghrib. That's my world. You're, you know, um, heavily invested, uh, as invested as can be in Yaqeen, obviously. So we're in the educational academic scope. But I want to know what Muslim artists are doing. I want to know what people in social work are doing. I want to know what different people are doing with regards to da'wah and learn from them, but also, inshallah, be able to appreciate and to be able to synthesize as well, as best as we can, be able to help others. And so I'm looking forward to picking the brain of people who are working in different fields of da'wah, re- realizing that like that prophetic community that you described, the Prophet them was able to engage everyone and give everyone a seat at the table and let everyone uh, have agency with regards to da'wah. So uh, that's the second. And the third, of course, with regards to the... Uh, uh, very, very beautifully, I want to be able to, to, to be able to benefit from um, the community. One of the things that we're we're looking and very excited about this podcast is community engagement. We want to be able to answer some of your questions. We want to be able to 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 interact with your comments, and that's going to be a segment of each podcast as well. So we're looking forward to these three things, inshallah. Barakallahu uh, feek. And I think it's important for people to know that we have a lot of these conversations, you know. Um, you know, backstage at a conference or after a class or when we come into each other's cities. Uh, but it's important for, for us to have these conversations in the open, inshallah, and to have this conversation with community. And I think that one of the um, one of the most important forms of feedback that I've received about these conversations is that, well, we don't know you're having them. And how do we how do we be a part of them? We, you know, what's going on here? We don't want this to just be uh, sort of an ivory tower feel. And so this is really a, a matter of, all right, let's 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 have these discussions with our community, inshallah ta'ala. And um, I'm going to dedicate this podcast, and I know you won't object, inshallah, because I dedicated this whole channel to it. But I'm going to dedicate this podcast to Sheikh Muhammad al-Sharif, rahimahullah ta'ala. Because Sheikh Muhammad was, was one of the main reasons why I actually started this channel. Um, he always spoke about, look, just be raw, be yourself. Don't, you know, we're getting into the whole, you know, and this is part of the evolution of da'wah, uh, you know, the well-edited, well-produced spoken word lectures, series. Uh, even though my setup looks nice here, you know, because uh, brother, mashallah, set it up nicely. Zalla khair. But, um, you know, this is meant to be raw. This is not yaqeen. This is not al maghrib. This is just two brothers talking, inshallah ta'ala, with others um, in the da'wah. And inshallah, being introspective and, and in conversation with our community, inshallah. So we'll have the town hall section. We'll do this, inshallah ta'ala, um, bi-weekly for now, inshallah. Um, we will, inshallah ta'ala, count on you all to help us name this thing. So we thought, why not Why not even get the community involved in naming this podcast? So we, we, we sort of went through a few names, reboot, uh, revisited, uh, in scope, um, all these types of names that we were sort of floating around. So we're going to put a community poll out, inshallah ta'ala, and let you name this podcast for us, inshallah. Uh, majority wins so 
Uh, please don't use bots to get your favorite episode in there. I'm talking to you, uh, Sheikh Ahmad, because I know you got a bunch of Twitter bots that work. You? <laughs> <laughs> and don't. Uh, first of all, I'm never on Twitter. Uh, uh, we can we can talk about Muslim Twitter, but I uh, I think Muslim Twitter is anyway. Um, so the point is, the uh, don't get your your aunts to to send them to their WhatsApp groups and all that type of stuff. Don't don't do that either. Don't don't stuff the votes. Inshallah, that don't stuff the ballots. So. If you love the name, then great. Otherwise, and we'll see. We'll see if the name that I suggested wins. I won't tell you what that name is. All right. Sounds good, inshallah. So we'll uh, we'll see you all, inshallah ta'ala, soon. Uh, our first inshallah. guest is going to be a legend, bidn of the uh, of the American Muslim da'wah. I'm looking forward to interviewing him, inshallah. And we'll count on you all for the community poll. If you click on the community section, inshallah, on YouTube, you'll see the poll there. And Sheikh Hamar, see you, see you in a bit, inshallah. You know where I won't see you? I won't see you on Twitter, but I'll see you, inshallah, ta'ala. I'll on the, be on an the episode podcast. on Twitter. You got it. Wait up oh. a significant segment of, of the audience before we even get started, man. Like, Muslim Twitter is going to be trashing you now. Oh, man. Well, guess <laughs> what? I won't see it, so it's all good. <laughs> I won't be there to see it. I'll lie about it. I'm everyone. Assalamu alaikum.